Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraft Tastic, and if you've been watching my Plan With Me videos lately, you've seen that I have been doing my social media spreads in a Dollar Tree planner. It's a B6 size. Well, I'm also going to start using this Dollar Tree monthly planner. It's 2019, and it just has the months in it, and it also has room for phone numbers and other information. Um, like travel expense, record, let's see what else we have here, uh, which I probably won't be using, or I could actually adjust that and use it, no, I can't, I probably won't use that for that purpose, um, and then in the front, it has a place for your personal information, the 2019-2020, the holidays and important dates for 2019 and 2020, toll-free numbers, conversion tables, international clothing, sizes. Okay, so it has all that information. And they also come in these little very thin vinyl covers, which the pink is cute. Um, I don't have my weekly in here. Yes, I do. I have a weekly. Okay, and then here is the weekly. I haven't even taken the um, <laughs> labels off of these. I guess I could do that now. But I've been working in the weekly for the past few weeks. Um, eventually, I will remove these covers and recover them myself. But I just want to go ahead and get started working in them since I had them. And so that's what I'm going to do. So, but these are available. I don't know if they have them year round. They usually have them at the beginning of the year, um, the early months of the year in Dollar Tree. So it may be a little difficult to find them now, but I'm just letting you know, you might want to keep an eye out for them for 2020. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I decided that I'm going to primarily focus on using my Walmart stickers for this spread. Um, I'm going to use some of the thin washi tape that I have that I never actually really use. Um, and then just some other random washi tapes that I picked out. So I'm going to turn on the music and get started.
so this is the final spread I'm still working out the kinks in my schedule of how I want to schedule things when I'm recording um, and doing social media most of the time I do it on the fly I don't have an editorial calendar or anything like that but I kind of feel like I need to start doing that just to keep myself on track so this is the beginnings of that I didn't fill anything out yet I have general idea of when I want to do things which is why I noted here with the flags and the little check boxes and then here um, with the flag and the corner boxes but I just want to kind of keep it open for now until I specifically decide what I'm going to do when I put the little hashtag here I don't generally use a notes column but I thought it would be nice to um, be able to list out hashtags that I think of that I might want to use for my posts and I definitely put Juneteenth in here I know this is a social media planner but I just felt like I need to note Juneteenth in every planner so if you continue to see me um, noting that in a planner that's why I just feel like it needs to be recognized so I'm putting it in all of my planners um, and yeah I think basically that's it I, I was able to stick with using the Walmart stickers I do wish I had a sticker for the first day of summer and for Father's Day I may come back later and add those from the Happy Planner stickers I don't know but I really wanted to show that you can use an inexpensive planner and inexpensive supplies to make a nice spread and I think I did that so if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye